Welcome to the Crimson Engine. My name is Rubidium. Today we are looking at a 21 inch field monitor. This is the OC LCM 215 HDR. So I met these guys at Cinegear this year. Um, they had seen my channel. They asked if I would like to check out their new monitor. Of course, I was interested. This guy is a 21.5 inch, 1000 nit, 1000 to 1 contrast ratio, HDMI and SDI input field and grading monitor. You can actually use it to do both things. It's big enough um, to be outside and light enough and transportable enough and rugged enough um, to be taken to set, but then it's also gives a good enough image and has scopes and all kinds of other um, fancy features that let you use it as a grading monitor back in the studio. That's awesome because not everyone wants to have two monitors to do those things. It's really helpful um, to get one that will do uh, everything that you need. I think it's smart to invest in the best monitor you can and use it for as many things as you can use it for. The most important thing about any monitor is the quality of the display. Um, the colors on this are beautiful. The display is um, really bright outside. You can turn down the backlight um, if you're in a dark environment pretty easily with the quick menu. It has a heap of um, camera specific lookup tables built in. Um, it has one for C-Log, C-Log 2 and C-Log 3. Um, it has false color. Uh, with a display of what the color values are at the bottom, which is great. And you can also load in your own LUTs uh, with USB on the back of the unit. For a monitor this size, it's really light and really transportable. It has an inbuilt handle, um, which is great for lifting it around and not getting your fingers on the screen. What really sets this monitor apart is the cost. The base unit price is under $1,500. And I think for $1,649, you get it as a kit with a, a B or VMAT battery plate with these little legs that go on the bottom so you can put it on a table for um, using it as a color grading monitor. Comes with a sun hood um, and comes with the, basically a foam insert that fits right into a Pelican or SKB case. The sun hood is great. You probably don't need it outside since um, at full brightness you can see this thing in direct sunlight. What I like to use it for is when I'm on set and everyone wants to see the picture and you end up fighting for position on your own monitor with like 15 other people that happen to be on set. If you put the sun hood on this thing, it really only makes it viewable um, to the person or persons that are sitting right in front of it. And it kind of gives you a little bit of privacy um, as a director or a DP on set to see exactly what people are shooting. Menu system is very usable. Um, I kind of wish they put a dial on there so you could kind of go through a little quicker than using the backwards and forwards buttons. But you know, there aren't that many things you need to change on it. I basically set these um, function keys to the, either turn the LUT on and off and increase the brightness. Um, and you know, the four or five things that you're gonna use, you're able to uh, attach directly um, to the shortcuts. As I said before, it is a one to 1000 contrast ratio. You can set it to accept both PQ and HLG HDR feeds, um, and it shows them very nicely, which is great because HDR is definitely um, something that's coming upon us. And in the next five years, at least, we're gonna see a lot more, a lot more um, HDR productions. It's good to have a monitor that's gonna last that long and be able to um, deal with those standards. Thank you to OC for sending me the monitor. I've got a lot of use out of it already. It seems like a really worthwhile unit um, for not very much money. You have a lot of functionality and it's really versatile. You can use it in lots of different ways. That's my look at OC's 21.5 inch HDR monitor. Um, links in the description, leave your questions in the comments and I will see you next time.